I'm Sudhatra and good evening doctor. We are from group 5. Our topic is from soil investigation work compared installation of RC square pile, RC spun pile and ball pile construction. I'm Sarah Sausurawong and the group members are Melvin, Abi, Iviria, Anaimi, Sarah, but Leslie. So soil investigation provide important information on soils, geological, physical and geotechnical qualities required for the safe and economical construction of all engineering projects. So what is the Purpose. The purpose are to determine the site suitability for the proposed uh, project. Uh, second is to assess the acceptability of subsurface material based on their physical and mechanical characteristics. Third is to enable the project components to be designed safely and cost effectively. Fourth is to collect information on groundwater conditions that may be relevant to the project. Fifth is to detect any potential issues or challenges with the ground condition that might influence the proposed project construction performance. Pulse. The pulse is an elongated or columnar body installed in the ground. The functions are to transfer the load to stronger uh, and less compressible strata, to carry horizontal forces from bridge, abutment or retaining wall, to increase the stability of tall buildings, to carry uplift forces, to avoid score damage and to compact loose sand. The first examples are RC square piles. Uh, it is commonly utilized in all sorts of foundation, small or large. It is suitable for any construction soil. The piles are driven into the ground level. Um, second one is RC spun pile. Uh, it is precast, hollow, and pre stressed concrete piles. Uh, it is widely used as foundation piles for high rise buildings, industrial buildings, bridges, maritime construction, oil tanks, power plants, and other more. So third one is ball pile. It is cast in place concrete, meaning the piles are cast on the construction site. It is suitable for heavy foundation, securing deep excavation near buildings, near existing building, and stabilizing and retaining slope. Um, that's all from me. Thank you. Hello, I'm Alice and I'm going to present on the purchase study. As well, no foundation of piles are employed mainly for transporting loads from superstructure to soils and this is our the classification of pile condition as you can see here there are four pile and skill piling and the others so this is all the factor that governs the action of piles there are length of profile and relationship to the load and type of soil is of maintenance and type of loading and the the other modes so this is the selection chart as you can see here and the, there are three main three type of piles that we focus on on this research. The, the first one is RC spun pile, and we take an example from IC pile company. And <coughs> as you can, as we all know, also the RC and the second pile is RC square piles, and we take from Hume RC piles company. And the RC pile is usually Structures ranging from low level to medium and high level structures, and the infrastructures to be built in various soil condition. And as we all know, also the <coughs> RC piles, square piles, are used to increase loading capacity and increase the settlement at site with low compressible soil that are not otherwise they are uh, a viable for construction. So they also made the pile using according to the system code of practice but they can custom made the RC piles parts so because of it low noise and low vibration is usually used in near residential area for construction so it will not affect the residential and the factor of affecting file capacity is you can see here surrounding soil, method of construction, and anything else. So the pile testing is usually not be less than 2% of the total piles and not should be no less than 5 piles in the inspection. So if there are any problem, the pile foundation engineering must be related. And there are three types of pile testing. <coughs> I'm sorry. There are dynamic load tests, static load tests, and file integrity tests. Thank you. Hello and good morning. My name is Abdul Hanimi Bin Abdul Salam. My metric number is DF200039. 
Okay, so I'm going to talk about the methodology part of our projects. There are many methods or procedures to applying the usage of the type files, especially in construction site. So they have, we have three type of files that we need to be discussed. The first one is RC square pile. There is first concrete square pile or RC square pile. There is many kind of ways to use it. For example, jack pile or jack in pile or ribbon pile method. This kind of method is suitable for this type of pile such as steel, precast concrete and timber pile. Next one is spun pile. Spun pile or per stress reinforced concrete spun pile were used because it has a better load capacity than RC square pile. So the method or the way of piling for this kind is easy and don't have many worries because any kind of installation will not make the pile buckling in the process. The next one is board pile. Board pile is also called drill shaft. It's a type of reinforced concrete foundation that supports structures with heavy vertical loads. A board pile is a cast in place concrete pile, meaning the pile is cast on the construction site. This differs from other concrete pile foundation. RC square pile. For RC square pile, we use a jacket pile installation method. The first step is we insert the RC square pile to the jack in clamp using the crane on the machine. Tie up the pile using cable and slowly lift into place. Second one is disconnect the crane cable when the, the pile was clamped properly. Next, start the jack in pile installation process with using a clamping device to generate pressure so the pile can penetrate the soil layer. Uh, for the spam pile, we use a driven pile installation method. Piles are inserted using a hammer hydraulic machine. Pile driving shall utilize the most suitable for the hammer for the purpose of driving because the type of pile to the side without, without damage or damaging to the pile head. When driving commands, the first few blows and meter of penetration shall be closely monitored to enable any initial deviation to the physical connected. Then take the reading for each stroke per foot of the pile move. The connection of the initial pile with the extension pile must be welded in order for it to connect with other parts and left for one hour. And last one is the board pile. For the board piles, there is no any method itself because it different from any other percussed concrete because this type of piles, board pile, is cast in situ. So there is five type uh, construction procedure for this board pile. Number one is setting up of pile position. The pile points will be marked by fixing steel packs in the working platform. After checking, the packs will be driven into the ground to protect them from any disturbance. Second one is installation of temporary guide casing. A temporary guide casing having an internal diameter, same as pile diameter, shall be installed to the pile center as previously marked on the working platform. So this is the phase of board installation, board pile installation. As you can see, the phase one is casing installation. Phase two, drilling. Phase three, we install the reinforcement. Phase 4, we pour the concrete into the ball pile. And lastly, phase 5, we extract the casing from the ball pile. So that's only for my part. Thank you. Hi, have a good day, doctor. My name is Ivira Frederick Gunn. Uh, my true number is AF190024. So today I'm going to present the discussion of our group project, uh, which is about reinforced concrete square pile and Pre-stress concrete spam pile. So the discussion is about uh, disadvantages and advantages of the both pile. So now I'm uh, I'm talking about advantages of reinforced concrete square pile. So the advantages is cheapest cost, wide selection of pile sizes and classes, quality assured production, high load bearing capacity. Building structure ranging from low rise to medium rise and high rise. Infrastructure to be constructed under a wide range of soil condition. We move to the disadvantages of square pile. It's very heavy. Sufficient care must be taken at the time of transportation, otherwise, pile may break. Not available at short notice. Last but not least, driving this pile created a lot of noise pollution. Next, Advantages and disadvantages of spam pile. 
So the advantages is less permeable than reinforced concrete pile, a good performance in the marine environment, assured strength with high reliability, offer an economical deep foundation system with consistent and superior quality. Do not require any special driving uh, equipment. The conventional hammers can be used for pile driving. Low unit weight, hence lower cost. Disadvantages is difficult to cut, cannot be driven with very large diameter or in condition of limited headroom. And the third one, not suited for hard driving condition. And the last, problem with noise and vibration. Thank you. That's all from me. Hi, Doctor. My name is Melvin Gokethang with matrix number F190103 and I will continue the discussion with advantages and disadvantages of Bhopal. The first advantage of Bhopal is it can be installed in a very large diameter and length as it is a cast-in-place pile. Next, it contributes less noise pollution as it is by first drilling a hole in the ground until a competent load bearing layer is reached. Because the turbulence created during Bhopal foundation is generally low, it causes less disturbance to surrounding piles or structure. The third advantage is caissons with high capacity can be built by enlarging the base of the pile shaft to three times its diameter, obviating the necessity for caps over groups of numerous piles. And the last one is salt extracted can be examined and if necessary, sample or an in-situ test can be performed. In contrast, both piles have a number of disadvantages. One of them is it provides many challenges. Only contractor with experience and skill can perform this procedure. Contractors need to perform a comprehensive analysis of the soil at the place of proposed piling and report it. Before they start the ordering, Land testing must be completed to avoid removing potentially contaminated soil. The contractor uses the soil analysis and previous expertise to determine the optimal drilling approach that will cause the least amount of disruption. Next, it takes up long time with an average working time of eight weeks. This causes the cost to increase and that is for sure. And the third one is Bhopal require chiseling through burid blockage. In that case, it may cause significant commotion and vibrations which happen to be minimal disruption. Moreover, water under artesian pressure may pipe up pile shaft, washing out cement which lead to complete mess and wastage. And the last one is steel cage to support loose soil to protect the entrance or if the borehole stretches much below the water level. The solution can be very extensive and difficult, adding a significant amount of complexity to the project. That is all for discussion. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We continue on with the conclusion by me, Abizarim Habibullah bin Aini. I'm gonna read the conclusion that we, by deciding and picking, by building the three types of piling is RC square pile, pre-stressed concrete span pile and bore pile is all depends on some further situation first of all is the building design and planning for example if you want to design a bridge you must use the span pile because it can manage underwater it can sustain underwater environment second is budget as we all know, the bore pile will use a lot of budget because it can be designed in larger diameter and using a cement mixture, concrete, and bunch of RC time, we, we can use a pre-class pile if you if we want to to use less time in building, construction, and piling. Next is our skills. Based uh, depending on the engineer or contractor skills to manage the piling procedure construction and fifth is the location like we would like to say thank you doctor to for viewing our presentation assalamualaikum